with the video. Okay. Yeah, we, we called five coffees. So we wanted something that uh, essentially is sort of uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Sydney's very coffee and stuff, but you know, five coffees are sort of turning into the edgy, sort of slightly druggy and kind of confused vibe where you're, where you're just a little bit off the radar. So it's sort of sort of on, on a daily sort of down-to-earth kind of chill vibe because it's a jazzy, it's a jazzy feel, you know? That's kind of what went with it. It sounded good as well, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Um, we got together because Guy, the trumpet player, Dean's, Dean's best mate, has um, had a gig and had no band because his band dissolved. And so I'm, I'm a, I'm a hip-hop MC, Phil's a like, old-school Led Zeppelin-style rock drummer. Dean and Guy are uh, jazz musicians from the con conservatory for music and so it was this crazy mishmash of people that came together. And uh, yeah, Brazilian guitarists and all this kind of stuff. And so it was a lot of different styles just sort of uh, came together for this one gig and we basically just jammed on some sort of hip-hop, jazz, soul, funk sort of conglomerate fusion thing and it really worked and so that, that was a couple years ago and so now we've recorded an EP and um, look how pretty it is. <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> and we, we got inside artwork. And we're live on the Wall Street scene, my main man on the sax system. And the fact is that I'm here just rapping and he has to play the sax so he can't help my action. And I can punch him and twist his nipples and he still has to Connections, and then you you have people that push it, push you as well because you play music with them, and then they're excited about what you're doing. And uh, you know, I've had a lot of friends that just record in their bedrooms, this kind of stuff, and that's that's really good, and they're really creative. But I always find it's a shame when the music doesn't get out to people, you know, when no one is. So I think just keep your eyes open. You know, Sydney doesn't have an amazing music scene because of the whole liquor license kind of thing. It's it's coming up though, and just um, you know, support your local music if you hear something you like or. Go 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 to the you know go to the Mac Hotel on a Wednesday or go to some of those local local gigs and check it out a little bit because the talent's there. It's just been a little bit suppressed by the by the sort of uh, the nightlife scene that Sydney kind of had, but it's coming up. And so if you sort of get behind it a little bit, I think it'll be a really good thing. Awesome. Five coffees, look us up. <laughs> Next up, we have the tantalizingly seductive tones of Doc Jones and the Lechery Orchestra. Sleazy. Although I think it's a little bit creepier sleazy than sleazy. Sleazy. It's sort of the inappropriate fawning over over something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 